So in order to discuss about the record level deployment, I just have a very basic function called as paginate record level, and this is a paginate function or paginate entry point in client script. The code has been successfully uploaded to my NetSuite account. Now let's try to deploy this uh, client script as a record level deployment. In order to do that, I'm going to navigate to customization, scripting, scripts, and then click on new. And from here, I'm going to select my script file. So I have selected my script file and I'm going to click on create script record and I'm going to name it as. And now from here, I'm going to either click save and deploy, which is going to take me to the deployment page or even I can select the deployment here and I will select applies to as a, let's say customer. I will leave the ID to be auto generated from NetSuite and let's leave the status as testing and let's click add and save the script record along with the deployment. Now we have successfully saved the script record and I we have also deployed this on a customer record. So if I just open this deployment, now the script has been deployed on customer record and we can see it's right now the status is in testing mode. Let's go ahead and test our record level deployment. So in order to do that, I'm going to navigate to list relationships, customers and click on new. At this point, our record level script deployment should get triggered. Now let's wait and watch. And I can see my pop up which says record level deployment. So now let's check whether my record level deployment works for another form. So I'm going to change the form from switch scripts to standard customer form. I can see my record level deployment is getting triggered. The main difference here is record level deployment works for respective forms. It does not worry about which form it is. But when it comes to form level deployment, it gets triggered on that particular form where it is deployed. And another major difference between this form level deployment and the record level deployment is if I go to the form level deployment here, I don't have any option to choose the audience like for which role it should get executed. But when it comes to record level deployment in the deployment of the line script, right? We have an option of choosing the audience like for which roles or which departments, which employees they should get executed. We could have specified all these options in record level deployment, but in form level deployment, we don't have that control. In script directly, we could have added, uh, let's say an if condition here simple if condition by just getting the value we have the access to that current record we just get the value of form which we are using and let's say we get the value of form id and we'll just compare the form id matches with a switch scripts form internal id if it matches then we'll add the logics inside this so that only those code gets triggered only for those specific forms 